20 minutes and our dough is lovely, ready to go. We're gonna put a little bit of flour on top of our work surface. And first we're gonna start off with making our fettuccine. So a little flour on our dough, spreading it out. You want as even of a rectangle as you can get, just to make it easier for you as you're rolling it through your pasta maker. If we're making fettuccine, you're going to do two, two of these if you're making cheese ravioli, each partner will only do one of these. You can fold it again and roll it. Try to get it a little bit longer and thinner as possible. Handmade pasta, they wouldn't have even used a machine. They would have done this years ago. So we're going to start off like this. Coming over to our pasta machine, start on your widest setting. So for me, on my home pasta machine, that my widest setting is number seven. Now at school I think it's a number one. No, you'll have to move. Okay, um, pause it please. This is just a homemade, or just a pasta machine that you can buy at the store. This one was $35. I think a Joanne Fabric or Bed Bath & Beyond. No matter what you do though, don't use the one you use for Play-Doh or clay. I have two separate ones for that. I am starting in my widest setting. For me it's a number seven. I think at school it's a number one. I'm going to place my dough into the machine and gently start winding it through. We're going to be go from thicker to thinner. And this is where partners should work together. So the person whose dough it is can be turning the wheel. So now I'm going to adjust it to six. The person who is dough it is turns the wheel. The other partner should be on this side helping as it comes through so you're working together and as you notice it kind of gets uneven so making sure you're going slow and working together and it's getting longer and smoother we are going to go all the way down to about a level two and I'll see you when we get to that point all right we're down to a level two or for you probably up to a level six you'll notice it's nice and thin but still well put together if I lay it on top of my box, you can see that you can read the print through it. So you want to be able to read through it, not to be too thin, but just the right amount of texture. And I'm going to make this into fettuccine, and then I will make it into um, cheese ravioli. So we're going to stop the video and start a new one for each of the different techniques.